Beginners Bachata Steps, class number four. You might have noticed, or maybe not, depending how long you dance bachata, that the rhythm in bachata is not as stable as the rhythm in salsa. What I mean by that? When you're listening to bachata, quite often you, you start, this is what we are teaching you, we start with the left leg on one, and you keep dancing, and you keep following the steps we are teaching you, and suddenly you realize that one in the music starts appearing on your right foot. And you say to yourself, like, how the hell this happened? I didn't change anything. And the truth is that the rhythm is changing in the music. In bachata music, it's happening very often. I quite often like to explain it on the wave idea. So when the music plays, for the first four beats, you have the feeling that the melody and the feel of the song goes up and then drops down. Yeah? I'll play the song for a second that you can understand or at least feel for a bit how it works. Of the guitar appears it's exactly the same. Yes, tan bonito vivir. Okay, I hope you got this from this short part. Because of YouTube um, copyright limitation, we can't play you a few different songs for comparison. We can only play non-copyrighted music during our classes. And this song is actually made by my Cuban neighbor. So he said like, okay, use my song. I don't mind. And it's a fantastic song. Uh, however, uh, I told you uh, at the very beginning of this video that in salsa rhythm is changing a lot less than in bachata. So because this song is made by Cubans, the rhythm in it is quite stable as well. But in many, many songs you will discover that the rhythm is changing. A part of that, changing of the rhythm is fantastic tool from dancing perspective. If you are able to change the rhythm by yourself or pass it to your partner, what's even more funky and exciting, then you make your dance a lot more interesting. Okay, now, what I mean by that, how does it work? We'll show you a very, very simple version of changing rhythm in some class later on during the course We'll do the um, way that involves a lot more body action. But before we explain you how body movement works in bachata, uh, we are not able to do it. By the way, we've done body isolation for bachata class. This is fantastic introduction to controlling your body in bachata. Yeah? There are many, many different aspects and we'll do a class completely about the body uh, movement in bachata. But, not yet, for now we'll concentrate just on rhythm and on our feet. Okay, Zzz. let's start working. We go with the basic to the left. Five, six, seven, cheeky, one, two, three, cheeky, five, six, seven, chuku, one, and five, and one, and change rhythm, five, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, and five, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, we just showed it, we didn't explain it, but you've seen what happened. We did extra action, and suddenly we were traveling to the right on one, and to the left on five. And now we want to control that. It cannot happen to us by coincidence. We are the bosses, this is important. When you are dancing, you are under control, not you are not under control, you are controlling. <laughs> okay, music is under control. Okay, so, instead of traveling three steps one direction, I'll do step, tap, step, tap. So I start with the left leg. I go left, tap, and right, and tap. And that's it. From here, we carry on with the basic. One, two, three, tiki. Apart that this was five already. So I'll add numbers on that, and it will make a lot more sense with the music. Five, six, the basic. 
one, two, three, change rhythm only twice, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, change rhythm twice, five, six, seven, hop, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. What I mean by changing rhythm twice, if I do one, two, I say that I change it twice. You can change it four times as well. One, two, three, four. And if you do that, and continue with the basic after, the rhythm doesn't change at all. So we'll show you this. Five, six, basic. One, two, three. Change rhythm four times. And one, and two, and three, and four, and go. One, two, three, with count. Five, change rhythm four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, still to the left, and five, still to the right, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. The same thing would work opposite direction. So I, did, I could do four steps to the left, five, six, seven, one, and change rhythm twice, five, six, seven, and one, change rhythm twice, and five, six, seven, and I came back to original, and five, six, seven and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. One more thing. You can do exactly the same action when we travel front and back. Five, six, left, front, one, two, three, and change rhythm twice, and one, two, three, and go, five, six, seven, and now one is going back, and five is going front. Change rhythm twice, and five, six, seven, forward, one, good, and right with the five. One tiki boom and five tiki boom and one tiki boom and five tiki boom. Clear? I hope so. It is a bit complicated thing in bachata, but it is very important to realize it at the beginning of your learning journey because you, it will it will happen to you multiple times when you dance bachata. You'll be wondering why, and this is the answer. Let's do it with music. One, three, five, six, seven, basic one, five, six, seven. So temporarily numbers are quite important for us. One, two, three, change rhythm twice, go. One, three, change twice, hop, hop, and five, we are back to normal. One, change rhythm four times, ding, ding, ding. And still one to the left. Five, six, seven, one. Change rhythm twice. And keep it going. Now, one. And five. And change rhythm twice again. And we go front and back. Six, seven, two, two. And change rhythm twice. Go. Back. Here we go. And one back. And five front. Change rhythm four times. Up, up. One, three, and we are still in opposite rhythm. Yeah, that was playing with your head a bit. Change rhythm twice. Go. And back. And front. Go. Five, six. Now we have normal. And basic side. And change even twice. Left turn. Right turn. Change rhythm twice. Tap and go. More. And basic and cross and heel. Up. And change rhythm. You could, could do it with heels as well. Up. 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 Sorry, my fault. Okay, four times. Why not? Let's try, let's try one more time. Four times with heels. Or I will go with toes. And go. Up. And basic. 
front and back, works very well. And right turn, go back. And left turn, go front. Change rhythm twice. Up, basic start. Change rhythm twice. Right turn. Very good. Once in a while, we'll introduce you to a bit of theory and to a bit of technique of uh, bachata also. So, yes, we'll still keep going with our fast classes, but once in a blue moon, you will see something like today that will hopefully make dancing bachata more enjoyable and uh, easier because understanding of music and understanding how your body works with music is very, very important when you decide to learn how to dance. So remember, if you would like to watch more videos, like, subscribe, and press the bell. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and you can become a patron of our channel. All previous classes on the playlist and in cards, and more classes every day. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.